Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing off the ZZA ZZ glitch, or I call it the Zazaz glitch. Um, the Zazaz glitch can be used from 248 to 255, technically. 255 does something interesting, and I'm going to show that in the next video. But for right now, I'm just going to show you the special stats 194, or 294, sorry, 294, 251, 252, and 253. So I'm gonna start with the first one here. Hopefully I don't fail the long range trainer glitch. Cool. I'm just gonna show you the uh, ditto glitch basically. If you've already seen it, just um, I have timestamps that you can follow. And we're just gonna fight this guy up here because I'm not gonna save this. I like saving this guy for some reason, but we're just gonna fight him right now. So basically I'm just gonna show you the rundown of how to do the uh, ditto glitch, ditto trick or whatever. Um, so we're just gonna use that to get the um, special stat we need, which is gonna be 249 as I said. And then, yeah, I'm gonna cut it to the next one after this, and I'm just going to flat out cut it and skip the ditto trick part so you don't have to watch this. And then, as I said already, uh, I'll have timestamps showing you the times for each special stat. So yeah, we're gonna get through here. I think I had repels. Let's see if I actually still have them. Uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> get through this pretty quickly. I don't usually like showing this anymore, but just in case the first time you ever watch one of these videos, at least you'll know the first part. Um, Maybe in that case I show no cheating device, but at this rate you guys should just get it that I don't I don't use any cheats or anything. Although, some do consider um, using WSM as cheating since it's like arbitrary code execution and it's kind of um, literally using the game code and basically cheating. Because like, as I was saying, like you have to like know what you're doing to use that properly. Oh wow, did a first try, that never happens. So I got Mewtwo here as you can see, um, switch to that 294. We're just gonna leave. There we go. <laughs> I'm also gonna be saving states too because um this has a high tendency to crash your game if you're not careful. Um yeah, I'll just save when I get up here, no problem. See so, yeah, this is my prime spot to save, you'll see that in over the course of the next few videos that I'm gonna have. So as you can hear, something is um, beeping. And we have an interesting glitch trainer there. Um, one, apparently. Far-fetched. All right, so this is the one, uh, in my experience, <laughs> oh wow, there's a lot to say all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, the Zazz glitch has some really interesting effects. Um, I can tell you why, where the name comes from, but it's easier to show you. So I'm going to do it in a minute. But um, so you can see here, I have a Bulbasaur that's named Vero. Um, the moves are explosion. Which I believe that is because explosion corresponds to basically index number 153, if I remember correctly. And that's also why Firo is 153. And apparently every third item, if you will, will be replaced, or won't be replaced. It's kind of intact, but then like it will keep this pattern. I'll show that in a minute here. But um, let's just try and use explosion. Alrighty then. <laughs> did we win? Whoa, too much! I did my best, I have no regrets. Wow, good battle. So, as you can see there, my name is messed up. So you can see the pattern, it's two Z's, then L in yellow, and then another two Z's, and then W and two Z's. So it's like every third character is intact, kind of that pattern goes along with um, the, the move, the third move. Although that's not always consistent, I don't know what the factors are behind that, because we can even see here, if we look at my party menu, um, <laughs> Pokemon party, whatever, it's kind of messed up. And some Pokemon are poisoned, so it kind of gives me the effect of like, um, super glitch. Um, and you can see the stats are really messed up because there's no way Magmar's attack is only 21, special is 21. It's even super slow. Um, so it really messes up your Pokemon too, as you can see. And like here, for example, Flamethrower and Psywave are fine. And I'm not entirely sure. This is a glitch that I need to investigate more. This is basically just to show you like it, it exists and that you can come across it with these special stats. And I'll say it again from 248 to 255 apparently are the stats, special stats you can use. So we got some weird effects here. What's interesting, we have Venusaur. It actually stayed Venusaur. Usually it becomes like Bulbasaur. Um, I don't know about the Venusaur, but like a lot of these are Bulbasaur, so you can tell. But for some reason Venusaur didn't, which is interesting. Sometimes Pokemon won't change, so they'll actually stay the same. And like, sometimes they have weird 
like stats. Like this one has a zero zero attack, which is some number above a thousand apparently. And then yeah, uh, moves are messed up again. You can see here Missy No Missy No Mewtwo, sorry. Um, also kind of has the same pattern of like the first two or um two of the moves aren't changed, but the middle two are for some reason. It seems to be the general pattern. If, like if it's not the third move, which let's see if Cloister hit. Yeah, Cloister was I remember I had swipe again. What about Venusaur? I didn't see if his moves were any different. Okay, so this one's the second one, but not the third one. So I don't really quite understand why it's like that. But this is where it gets its name from, the Zaz glitch, as it nicknames you that, basically. And I don't recommend saving because this is similar to Super Glitch in a way, but there are a couple things that are interesting you can do. Um, so let's see here. So if I heal, it actually does successfully heal the poison away, as you can see. But what's interesting is you can also try and deposit stuff too. Oh yeah, my name is just ridiculous. Oh, it didn't happen this time. Sometimes... Oh, yeah, it's a later special stat, I forgot. It'll do some weird things. Um, I'm not gonna go into that right now. Let's just show one of these into battle really quick. Um, if something funny comes from this. Hopefully I can... Oh, wait, I forgot! Um, after the battle, a repel will be applied. Um, obviously my last repel, um, wasn't there anymore because we encountered the didio, the didio, the ditto. So we know like it wasn't like from that, and it doesn't matter if you use a repel before you do this glitch. You you'll still have that repel effect. It's like a side effect of the glitch. Um, I didn't get the chance to show it. I'll show it in the next one. It'll come up. Actually, I can probably just show you. But first, we'll do this. So Magmar goes back to the, a reasonable level, reasonable stats and whatnot. But what's funny is it says that he evolves, even though he's a Bulbasaur. That doesn't change. He'll stay a Bulbasaur until he evolves into Ivysaur, as you can see. Which I think is really cool if I can do that. <laughs> but that's about all for that special stat. I am to accidentally encounter. I'm going to switch back here. So we're back here with the... um. 249 basically, but what's something interesting here is that you can actually end the battle. Although this one, you can kind of have that weird sound effect, which I kind of liked. But if you just use an item, typically you'll get kicked out. So it's interesting there, and you'll have your effects again, just simply like that. So now we're actually going to move on to the next one. Um, so I'm actually going to have a cut here because as you can see, I don't have it set up already, but I will show you just the special stat, which is going to be 251. So I'll see you when I have the encounter ready. Okay, here we are again with 251. As you can see, similar effect to the start there. <laughs> this one looks kind of cool, in my opinion. Um, Cuba. Okay. I had a test run of this, so yeah, fear is the same here, but something interesting happened, I believe. Used X attack, yeah, keeps using. Nothing happened. Yeah, it plays more sounds. That part I like. I do believe it's the same though. You can't tell, it sounds the same. Yeah, it is, I'm pretty sure. So it's kind of the same effect. This doesn't usually happen. Typically you'll just crash, or sometimes you'll actually attempt to fight. <laughs> Did my best. But yeah, as you can see, we didn't actually have our team changed at all. So let's try something a bit different here. Um, I'm curious to see. So, wait, no, we need this one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So if I remember correctly, uh, maybe it won't change it, actually. Oh, wow, I can't even leave, but it'll do its thing. Huh. Oh, I think it must be uh, 252 that I'm thinking of where I can do this. Um, but I'm actually just going to skip because there's not really much else to that. I don't even think it changed my name. Let's just find out really quick. We'll skip through this and see. Pretty sure the name was fine too. So that's a really weird special stat. I don't really understand why it does that. But um, there is a chance that maybe it will be different. And I'm also pretty sure that if you growl or use swords dance basically against a ditto, it will change the loadouts to my knowledge. I didn't test that off screen, but I don't see why it wouldn't. So that's also another way to get different effects too if you ever want to try that out. So now I'm going to switch to the next one. Um, I do have to set up the encounter again, I have to go counter ditto, so I'm just gonna cut that. I'll see you guys when I get back there. Okay, here we are with 252. Let's we'll see what we get this time. <laughs> Similar effect. Interesting. I like that color. Q. Okay, so yeah, here's where things get kind of intense. <laughs> 41. I can't remember. All messed up. 
So I can't remember if I was actually able to fight this Q or not. I believe, yeah, I'm able to, but then it does its stupid little thing here where, like, Mewtwo, that's cool. Whoa. Okay, this is new. Usually, it wouldn't let me get past that. It would, um, it would say, oh, would you like to change Pokemon? And it will basically, like, freeze up the screen and I can't do anything. But I'm actually able to, um, fight. This is cool. This is actually, like, a somewhat challenged trainer. Not really. But, I mean, they do have a Mewtwo, which is pretty cool. You don't really fight wild ones, or, um, like, trainer ones, anyway. Um, even a Jolteon, too. Like, besides Blue, I think. I'm interested. I have... I had this put on here, like, ooh, it's special on my little list, but I didn't get this the first time, so I don't know what this is all about. I wonder what happens once I beat the trainer. Like, this is pretty cool. This is actually like a challenge trainer, sort of, I feel like, where um, I'm going to investigate it off screen at some point, where I'm going to go for their loadouts and see if I can find something interesting, because if this trainer, like, consistently gives, like, glitch loadouts like this, this would be really cool. Seeking. All right. We're going to speed up a little bit. I was, wasn't doing it at first because I was worried that might make it crash. This has been pretty easy. <laughs> Decent experience. Oh, I'm missing now. Oh, shoot. Um, who's the hardest hitter here? Probably Mewtwo, honestly. <laughs> My game's probably going to crash anyway. I think this is the reason why, because you can actually encounter a missing no. Yeah, just crashed my game. I wonder what happens if you beat him, because I'm pretty sure the way that works is the same way wild missing nos work. So like, if you keep encountering the trainer, eventually you'll get a missing no that won't crash your game. So let's try that again one more time, really quick. Let's speed this up. I just want to see what happens if I use an item, because I'm sure this is like the last one to where. Oh wow, you crash! Interesting. Let's try that one more time. Instead of like a pokeball, let's try. I don't even know if I have another item, like using like an X item. Can't use that. Um, can't use any of this. And I'm sure I'm allowed to use healing items, but oh, Mewtwo. Woo! Oh, crashes too. Jeez. Okay. Um, so that might be worth investigating off screen. I might do that at some point. But now I'm gonna move on to the next one. I'm actually going to load this state, and just for a little refresher, I'm going to show you what you need to do if you ever want to increase your special stat by one. It's pretty simple, honestly. You just get into a couple battles and deposit into the PC. I just wanted to exercise that, just in case anyone didn't know that already. It's really helpful for when you're going through these special stats, since they're all close together. Um, let's see if that's enough. Typically, um, the best best bet for increasing special is Bill Sprout and Oddish on that route. Let's see if it worked. Oops, run into the wall. Let's see, oops, didn't mean to do that, there we go. There we go, 253, let's go. All right, whoops, <laughs> keep messing up here. Um, I'm just gonna cut it until I get to the uh, encounter, so I'll see you guys there. All right, here we are with 253. I'll just show for old time's sake. No cheating device. Without further ado, let's go. So yeah, same old, same old, do 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 at the beginning, which I like. Um, this should give Zazaz glitch fix. Um, the other ones really haven't been giving that much, but um, you can see this one's kind of similar to the last one. Um, there are different different things that give you like the Zaz glitch effects. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball so I can avoid that little spiel. Sometimes it crashes, so that's what I'm worried about. So this one, what's interesting is that typically I can't open my Pokemon menu. Let's try it. Oh, I did. Hmm. Kind of bummed. I didn't get the effects I did off screen because um, when I did it, it. Maybe I can redo it, maybe see if that works. Um, but first, I wanna try and heal and see what happens. I had a weird effect happen with that. Probably won't happen. But basically, it turned like the first Pokemon I had in my party into like a glitch Pokemon, sort of. And when I deposited, like the game froze. It's interesting. Um, nothing interesting there. Let's reload um, this one. It's probably gonna be the same. I believe this works just like Missing No, to where if you load a state, you're gonna get the exact same encounter every time back to back, regardless. Well, let's try and use the move, see what happens. Oh, he uses guard spec, okay. <laughs> Blows up. <laughs> That's gonna faint, clearly. <laughs> Me, not him. Oh, it actually fainted him, unbelievable. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, watch this, if I, if I remember correctly. It's gonna do that thing. So I switched Pokemon, because, you know, fainted. It's gonna say, oh, it's gonna throw out a glitch Pokemon. And then, here's where it does that weird thing where I kind of freeze. But like, I already switched Pokemon because I fainted, so like, I don't know why I did it again. 
And actually, now I think about it, let's test something really quick. This is like a TM trainer effect. There it is. Um, let's get rid of a uh, shift and let's go to set and see what happens. Let's see if that changes anything. Because then it won't ask me to change Pokemon and maybe I can keep going. Just thought of that. <laughs> Fetched again. Just blow up in front of its face, why not? That guard spec one. No, 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 Ortis. You asshole. There we go. <laughs> hey, he's about ruined it for me there. Let's say Farfetch was just using that guard spec for the trainer, whatever. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm actually curious. We'll go into, um. I don't even remember what that next Pokemon is, like typing wise. We'll go to Mewtwo, why not? <laughs> even though it's. So he just about. Oh, it's you, okay. Another guard spec. Well, I guess we'll use Swift. I'm actually curious to see and watch this battle play out, because um, I never thought to do this. That's annoying. So this is one way to avoid the uh, that menu that pops up, is to put your, um, your fight style on set instead of shift. Hurt by the burn? I'm poisoned! Oh gosh, is this super glitch? Oh my god. No! I don't, I don't really want to show this because I feel like it's going to take forever. Okay, I'm just going to cut to a point to where I'm back to here, but you guys don't have to see it, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back here. Um, oh, I only got mirror move. That's stupid. Keeps using guard specs. Hopefully that takes him out. I'm going to run out of Pokemon before they all have explosion. Oh, wait, I can use an item. Oh, Missing is going to crash the game anyway, huh? And I probably will get kicked out of the battle if I use an item, so that won't work either, unfortunately. And Missing is probably going to crash the game. Yep. Well, that's actually all I have to show for this video. Uh, definitely expect seeing another one in the future, because there's a lot more I want to do with this. I completely just <laughs> did not think of putting it to set for the battle style to avoid that, because a lot of the other special stats would do stuff like that to where I couldn't move past it. And I was like, well, that's kind of lame. But I might check that out more off screen. And I might show what I get um, for the next video. It's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> There's some really fun stuff going on in the next one. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.